What is up everybody? We are back for autocross. This time we are at Virginia Motorsports Park where we just were Friday. A ton of cars here. I think there's over a hundred drivers. I have to double check on that. A lot of cool cars. The new Civic Si all gripped up. The new BRZ all gripped up. Oh, you see that Corvette. Shit's sexy. There's a bunch of Porsches. You got Rick and his crazy little all track. That thing's such a... I'm gonna try and get a good couple laps of that car actually well I work well we run together but I don't know. we'll try this thing's dope they have a YouTube channel of their own it's two drivers in that thing it's it's super dope oh, there's me over there Nismo Z and there's a handful of Corvettes here a handful of Porsches good bit of Hondas too walking the course looks like and it's not too tight at all it's pretty open Seems like it'll be uh, around the minute, maybe. So, I don't know how long it's gonna take, how much time I'm gonna have in between runs to get the tires cooled off. I need to get one of them pumps, like those bug sprayers, with just water to like cool my tires down between laps. But this will be the last event on the PS4S. The RT660s actually show up today, so I'm kind of salty about that. It would uh, really come in handy here, but. Hopefully I can make a, a decent day with these tires for the last time. Please let it be walking speed or the speed you would be okay hitting, getting hit with. Uh, smoking area is by the picnic tables over here. Uh, course workers, you will all... And we got this Type R all gripped up. Looking real good. What tires are these? RT660s. It's gonna be some competition there. We got this guy over here. This one's all gripped up as well. Some gripped up Hondas today. Also on RT660, like every other car. <laughs> Not a big Z guy myself, but this Nismo, beautiful. This is Mini GDR. Is that the only bro? This nice cornflower blue car. And we got Rick's super dope all track also with RT660s love this thing he throws this thing down BRZ or 86 whatever you want to call it looking good and this is the other Civic I was talking about the, the new one all gripped up also on RT660s can't wait to get mine they literally show up today and I'm really salty all right, guys, I think this is the third run for the RS3. He's breaking at the first cone. Robert Miller crossed 38.743. Kind of have like a good straightaway right in here. A little sweet, yeah. So this is at the drag strip. I just realized we could go up the bleachers and watch from up here. Alright guys, sorry about the wind. Nice spot, but don't let anyone ever tell you or don't never make the excuse that your car is too slow. This is a 50 horsepower Geo Metro out here getting it and putting down solid times. This thing just scoots. He's probably full throttle like 90% of the track.
Hello, darling. All right, guys. So the RS3, I think, wound up with like a 33.0 something. As always, the RS3 is like my goal. I really want to beat this guy. Um, he's a really good driver, and it's a mostly stock car. I think it's just got muffler deletes and tires, wheels and tires. And that thing is quick. He's out there just ripping that car apart. Um, you know, so I'm going to try and aim for that. Also, keep track of what Rick over here is doing in his um, all track. He just thrashes that thing. I don't know if it's the wheelbase and just not being like really low at all and just, just having a good balance with that big car. I don't know. He's a really good driver too, but that thing rips. So definitely got my competition cut out for me. Last event on these stupid tires. Like I said my RT 660s show up today and I couldn't be more excited. But the car's pretty dialed in other other than tires. Power wise she's great. I mean it puts the power down great. Probably use some motor mounts, but um it's just awesome. Let's get out of here, get some laps. Kaylin's not here today. We have family and friends in town from Minnesota. So she's um, at home with the baby hanging out and stuff. So I'll try and get uh, as many clips as I can that are decent. Maybe hand the camera off to a random you know, bystander. Maybe get them to get a clip. Or there was someone could give me a clip from up in the stands. That would be legit. Anyway, let's get to racing. All right, first lap down. Couldn't get the GoPro to connect to my phone, so I didn't get a video of it. It was kind of shitty anyway. So 34-4, I think it was, it was what it was. Going down into the back corner, there's a gate in the corner, and I didn't, like I broke really early, and I thought I could just, I thought it was like an open corner. It's not, there's a gate inside of the corner. So I kinda, it kind of like confused me, and I got lost. And I kind of messed up my setup for the next cones out of that corner. But now that I know that, um, I can improve a lot right there. I think Rick got a 33.7. So I'm about almost you know, like seven tenths behind him on the first lap. I need to make up some time. I want to beat that all track. Uh, he's got them good tires though. Lap two was a freaking wash. Um, I'll put the clip after this, but like, I don't know, not far into the course, I accidentally hit the paddle and up shifted to the third. And I, I, I didn't realize that the car, something happened. I looked down, it said M3. So I downshifted back to second until I was getting to the braking zone in the back. Then I tried to hold the uh, plus button because that, that'll, if you hold it, it sets the trans back to sport or drive. And I guess it didn't. I came out of, out of the corner and I was redlining second gear, so I had to shift again, and I was like, I couldn't like turn the wheel enough and hold the button long enough to switch it. It really messed me up. I need to just not, because I kind of have like my fingers up when I'm driving, like kind of resting, I guess. And that time I, I just hit them, I don't know. Bad time. But I, I, I got a half a second better time, even with that, so there's a lot of room to uh, improve.
so you guys just saw my fifth lap i had the gopro here on the window so the lap two laps before that i each got a cone which wasn't great i know exactly i know the perfect line now but the trans doesn't want to downshift in this back corner so when i'm coming around like i'm hard breaking into it and i'm coming around and i punch it i'm having to wait like i'm waiting there's so much time that can be uh made up so this lap i'm going to do my best i'm gonna leave the trans in regular and in, in auto until i get into that deep braking zone then i'm gonna downshift i should be able to get out of the hole a lot quicker and uh hopefully i don't need to get into third um or downshift i don't know we're gonna figure it out we are going to that was a 33.4 and i know i can take at least half a second off my time if i can get like i mean a 32.9 would be i'd be happy with that but again these shitty tires which aren't being so shitty today honestly they're not bad for a more open course like this but they're still not great a lot of time can be had in just tires alone and if the trans was downshifting um it just doesn't want to this this track i don't know holy shit there you go try to do some manual shifting shenanigans I got out of the hole a lot quicker but uh, I was slower in the back half because I was just trying to stay smooth rather than because the tires are nice and hot at this point uh, a little greasy so I tried to be a little bit smoother and not so punchy uh, getting the car unsettled um, it just didn't it didn't do great it was 34 3 on the dot for my lap six turns out my best lap is lap four was a 33354. Um, I don't know what Rick ended up with. The RS3 did get a 32, I think, 80. Yeah, he was 3380 on the dot. And the last one I saw from Rick, like two, three laps ago, was a 3284, I think. So he might have passed him. Um, yeah, so you're looking at, oh, it, it, this is all ricer math, mind you, but on a 60 second course, I would imagine the RT660s are at minimum a second faster than these. So looking at about a 30 second course, half a second on those tires would bring me down to a 32.85. So right there where I'd like to be, like right there with those two. Um, yeah. So I think with those tires, It'll put me in the range I really want to be in. Then it's really all about the driver from there once you know, we're all kind of on sticky tires. I don't know. I don't think it's just the tires. Like, I obviously need to improve as well. Um, more seat time, the better. I'm trying to get as much as I can, as often as I can. But, uh, I don't know. Really, nothing bad to say other than I hate these tires. The car's doing great. It's holding, holding down. Awesome. Temps are awesome. Um, you know, other than, like, the car not wanting to downshift in that corner, which I can understand because I'm on the brake hard and I'm right back on the pedal slightly, like just to hold a little bit of power through the corner and then punching it. And I guess I'm not going all the way down to get to the the kick down or what. In a couple more laps, I think I can really um, figure out what exactly to do in that situation. Anyway. The car did great. I'm happy with it. 33.3 uh, for the day. Not bad.